It's, it's unfortunate though, because I, I just feel like a lot of these you're gonna see a lot more deaths like yeah. that oh, yes. in the yeah. music industry because of what they're rapping about. Yep. Like, I mean, music has always been about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right. But nowadays... <laughs> That's they, all it is. Yeah, and, and it's they're also, like, not... Back in the day, whenever, like, rock and roll was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right. And, like, maybe weed, you know, a little bit of drinking, stuff yeah. like that. That, that. that was it. Nowadays, you have people talking about pills yeah. and lean yeah. and, just like, the, the really hard stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like every young thug bar ever. And, and, and that's what's killing them. And the people that are listening to these artists get talk so about this stuff get so influenced oh, by I, I want to try that. Exactly. Some and, artists and, can and, pull and, it off and, because and they're, they're real And they're talk. dying. Like they are legit. They're, they're either they're killing themselves or they're killing their fans. A little loaded. A little loaded. Kill the self. A little loaded. Yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah, a little loaded was that. That, that, was, that, that was sad, baby. man. That was very unfortunate. That's, and that's another thing too. Like so many of these artists are so depressed nowadays too. And Kevin Gates, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. But like a, a a good example would probably be that little Uzi Vert guy. Yeah, that hey, Uzi, I think he's in a better mind state. Some weird stuff right now, man. Do you yeah. see his rolling loud performance? Oh yeah, he was just standing there looking like he was in a. He was trance. doing twirls. Yeah, yeah. He looked like he's in a trance, man. It was just. I, it was weird. I love Uzi. I, I, I just, love Uzi too. Uzi's a goat. He got a special place in my heart, but like, a little worried about him right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I think he's in the right mindset right now. Oh, you know, you know what artist I'm afraid? Like, I'm terrified for them. Um, famous Dex. Dex is he's, he's really bad. bad off, really man. bad. And, and but I mean, like, that's what they're rapping about. That's yeah. everything that you're hearing. You know, I had an opportunity to get a song with Famous Dex. Really? Yes, yeah, some artist hit me up. He had like 62.7 thousand followers. His name is Demilio. Demilio hit me up and it was like, hey, I might have an opportunity for you. And I was like, all right. Hmm. And uh, it was a song with him and Famous Dex and it's still not out of the talks. Like it's still in the talks, but right. I mean, it'd be cool. But I just, I, I hope that it changes eventually, man. Because oh, if, yeah. if this keeps going, it's going to be bad. Yeah. And it's it's just making people dumb. It is. <laughs> like, I'll talk with the people that are really into the new style of hip-hop. It's and th- it's, it, they, they just like, I'm, they're dumb. Like, we, me and him watched this. You ever heard of Andrew Callahan, <laughs> Channel 5? <laughs> <laughs> it's this YouTube channel. This dude, like, does, he has this thing called Channel 5 where he dresses in this. He's thing. like a parody newsman. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it's, him. It's, that's a perfect way to oh, describe it, it's him. It's awesome. I love it. But he wears this big suit and he just goes to all these crazy places and like interviews people. Like he went to a punk show in New York City, and there was this dude with a big balloon full of nitrous. He's like, "So uh, why are you at, uh, here?" And that dude went, <laughs> "I'm here because of it." And just you know, <laughs> but, it, it was that's, crazy. It's that's most the off the wall stuff. He, he doesn't like make fun of them. No, he, make, he not makes at all. them make their selves look right. Fun. He's asked a question and lets it go from there yeah but he went to this like one rap festival in utah and dude it's the iq <laughs> of everybody there was probably like 18 or put, something put like together. that <laughs> put together uh, all, everybody put together and i and i think that it's because of the drugs the lifestyle that they're living the things that they're being influenced by they are they're stupid and i think that like that's what you know the man what everybody <laughs> talks about that's what i think that they want they want yeah. a generation of young people growing up mm-hmm. to be stupid to not think easier, for themselves easier to control to e- easier to control and also to kill themselves earlier too so they ain't got to pay for life insurance down yeah, the road natural or, selection yeah mm-hmm. and, and <sighs> hip hop back in the day man it was so much more than that you still had the no. Gangster rap era and oh, stuff yeah. like that, but you know th- there was there was passion in it. It wasn't all about just drugs and I've got a bad woman. Y- y- <laughs> yeah. y- y- you know what I'm talking about? Female dog. I, you, you, that's 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 why I love listening to an album like Donda. You don't yeah. hear that. Yeah. yeah. Y- you you don't have to rap Kanye about. Kanye would not settle for that. No. If the baby no. went on there and talked about what he usually talks about, Kanye back. Nah, get out of my studio. Yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah, the really. thing, and like that's why I think like 
and an artist like Kanye is can be so important to these young people growing up mm-hmm. is that you don't have to rap about everything that everybody else is rapping about to make good music. Right. You don't have to follow the same formula. And, and also, I think that these young artists are falling into a trap. Yeah. If you're rapping about everything that everybody else is rapping about, what is going to make you stand out? Right. Nothing. You're going. You're going to fall right into the void of everything else because everything sounds the same. You put three artists back to back, and they sound the exact same. Yeah. And it's just it's and it's easy to forget about them. I mean, a lot of these people, like you know, the the famous Dex people you're talking about and and, yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, I hope that they're relevant in ten years. But I don't. He's not even relevant now. He's not. He, yeah, he used I, to be. He like, used to be on top of 2016, the game. 2015, yes. Japan. And yeah. Japan. Oh man. But that's about two times. Dave's that's the thing, Jordan. though. That they're easy to forget about. Yeah. 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 Because they don't stick out to anything. Mm-hmm. And it's a once one and done. It's a one hit wonder. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's what these record labels want. <laughs> is they want artists to be dumb, so they can be taken advantage of, mm-hmm. so they can just. Kill themselves with drugs, like like, like Juice World. Record, yeah. record, record, record. Work your butt off. Yeah. Dive an overdose. That's exactly yeah. what we I get, do. We get That's to, how we, it was with we, we, too. We, we get to keep all of your music. We get to keep all of your royalties. Yep. And whenever you die, we that's going to make, make your name you. blow up. Yep. And yeah, we make even more money, yep. and we own everything. And we're going to make the money. Your family's going to suffer. Yeah. Like I, I love Jay Z. Mm-hmm. One one rap, well, one verse that he had in, in a song called "The Story of OJ." He said, "You know what's more important <laughs> than throwing away money at a strip club? Credit." And just like <laughs> it, it, that's so important for young artists to know. Like, don't just make music; make yourself a business. Make yourself an entrepreneur. Don't kill yourself with drugs. Don't blow all your money on. Lane and pills. Right. Invest it into companies. Invest it into your own. That's record how Kanye label. is a billionaire now. Yes, Kanye is a billionaire. Absolutely. Him, him, Jay Z, people like that. The young artists need to look up to these old heads because I don't know. Lil Baby's doing pretty good for himself. Yeah, Lil he's pretty doing pretty good. good for himself. Yeah, and people like him too. Like I was, I heard one song by him the other day that I thought was dope. I forget what it was though, but uh. You know, and it's just important for young artists growing up to look to these old heads. It's, I watched a mafia movie one time. Mm-hmm. They said that be be the most scared of an old person in a profession where people die young. But I think that it yeah. can also like you can learn from the old heads in a profession where people die young or their careers die young. Don't look up to these people that are overdosing and killing themselves and try to make that same style of music look up to these people like J Electronica or Nas or J Cole or Kendrick or Oh Kendrick Lamar is oh my yeah, so good yeah. Yeah, and, and he's so good and, and that's the reason Mac. that and that's the reason that you have Mac. or yeah, yeah even even Mac like I, I know that he su- succumbed to that yeah. fate too yeah. but Speaking even then Mac, like he, but he had a completely different style he made his own style, and that's why Mac Miller will be relevant for years to come. Right, and yeah. like I, I would like to think that you know people like X or Juice World will be the same way, but I just I don't know. I, I, I think would hope Juice so. has a better chance than X. I think X is starting to dive down now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Same yeah. with Lil Peep. Yeah, yeah Peep's everybody died down that's. For sure. Yeah, Peeps been diving down for like a year now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah sure. they, they got rid of all Peeps music too. I yeah. I hate that so much. I hate it so much because they, they had so much potential with all the music that they had when they wasn't here. Like when when they you know passed, yeah. mm-hmm. they had so much potential for all these songs, but they just released them all in one. It's just a big mess. Yeah, yeah. like skins, it like, doesn't seem finished. It's not or, at all. Or like uh, what they did with Bad Vibes Forever. Oh, yes. Bad Vibes Forever that's was per- terrible. That's yeah. a so bad. Example, they just and I hate about. saying that because I love Juice. Yes. I love Juice, was, but I hate saying it. Bad, bad Vibes Forever. That was excellent. Not bad. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Legends Never Die. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legends okay, Never Die. Yeah. Hated it. 
Bad Vibes Forever, terrible. Yeah. These young artists, though, can be their own record label nowadays, though. Oh, yeah. Well, like, Actually, it, the United it, Masters is a good one. It, mm-hmm. it used to be that, you know, like you had to get signed to a record label. They had to control everything that you done in order for you to make it big. Look at Chance the Rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Great example. Yeah. Chance the Rapper. When's the last time he released a song? Uh, Been a while. Hit his, I didn't least. like his last album. I didn't I, I'll be honest. That one no, that did. looked like a the di- CD yeah, thing. Yeah, CD of water droplets on it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't like that. I didn't either. But, but even then, it's amazing how he's still an independent artist. Yeah. yeah. He's not signed by anybody. He controls everything that he does. Who and is the independent artist today? We got Chance the Rapper. Uh, Kanye Tyler, to an is extent. Tyler the Creator, is he independent or is he uh, with... No, he's with the label, ain't he? Uh, I know he had Odd Future. I know, that's what I was I thinking. I think that he's his own thing. I think he is, too. He I know might. he's really good. And, you know, Tyler, the creator, that's another artist. Yeah. I'll, he's going to be relevant for years to come. Because, because like... Because he's versatile. Yeah, I mean, you, you listen to uh, Yonkers. <laughs> and, 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 and then you listen to, uh, what was it, Flower Boy? Flower Boy. Dude, it's completely nah, here, here's different. Here's a better... Compare Radicals or Tron Cat. <laughs> to Flower Boy, <laughs> it's completely more so radical. <laughs> but but like that's the thing. Like Tyler the Creator has made a brand. You know, I you, you see his clothes in oh, yeah. like Zoomies yeah. and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Everybody loves All Future. It's so important for young artists growing up to not kill yourself with drugs. Don't fall into the void of sounding like everybody else just I'm, because I'm, that's what's popular. Make your own style. Make your own way. And that's what can help, you know, you stay relevant. 